morning. Trying to get some water going. I slept pretty well in that little hutchie last night, actually. Didn't feel too vulnerable on the ground. That makes a pretty good idea, though. Successful dismount. How's Mark doing? Alive? Haven't heard. They're a lot easier to float without him. <laughs> that is how you wake up. <laughs> Surprised you weren't like, run, run. Oh, my hammy. Oh. <laughs> Simple breakfast this morning. Wheat bix made it with a fork. It's pretty good. I think white was a bad choice. I look like a hobo already. What was a very bad choice? Anyway, made my bed. Lay in it. Bottom then. Oh, that's it, boys. Where are my sons? First full day of the float. Thanks, mate. You left them in the sand. No, I'd left them on top of a box. The box was in the sand. The box was in the sand. The sunnies were on the lid. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody dropped them in the sand. I suspect it was someone named Stephen. <laughs> First full day of the float, eh? First full day. What do we got? We got to cover about 14 k's today, 13 k's. Yeah, Get I, moving. We should check I, I the map now. I sort of reckon now. if we cover a bit more today, that's probably good, man, because that means the next couple of days, if we find a good fishing hole, we could pull up for longer. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't think we should fish today, then. No. <laughs> you have a scorpion in the water. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, wow. Is that type of scorpion? It's exactly a scorpion. They call them water scorpions, I don't think they are scorpions. I'm currently in Phil's boat, cameraman boat. It's pretty full of stuff. It also has an angle fridge in it, but we forgot to like crimp any terminals on the end or anything before we left, so I'm gonna strip that off there, give that a little twist, curl that around the terminal, and it's working, there we go. So, just chuck them underneath there. I'll tighten those terminals up nice and tight with a screwdriver here, and then uh, that's it. Now, we haven't named that fridge, and we love it so much that it needs a name. So, if we don't name it before the end of the trip, you need to put a name in the comments below. A Goldie. Elsie. Elsie. It is an old fridge. It needs an old school name. An apt name. Any gender preference for the name? No. Nah. Blanche or Phyllis? First, first target of the morning, he did a good little jump when he caught that, didn't he? So, cracking little target for the morning, look at that. Beautiful with a bit of sun on him, beautiful colours. Hit the little frog again, and uh, did a little jump, and then came into the boat, and he's going to go back. Here, mate. On the board. And El Capitan Steven now. Won't stop me. It's just almost too easy. Good fun, aren't they? They go hard. See you, bud. Pretty keen to get back, so we'll put him straight in the water. Hey, log jam. It's a good log jam. Bit of log jam up there. So we just came around the snag there, um, a bit further up in the creek, and saw a croc track um, in the sand as they come through and drag their tails and their feet. They sort of wash the brown silt off the top, so you can see a nice clean section of sand where they've moved. Uh, and then we followed that track, sort of came down and into this area here somewhere. Um, hard to tell how old or new it is. And then we've pretty much got to get out of the boat here. So needless to say, or maybe it needs to be said, that 
Uh, you've got to be super careful in these areas. There's definitely crocs around. We're wary of them all the time. Um, yeah, it's a real risk doing something like this. But calculated risk, but if you're going to do it, be super careful. Pretty serious log jam ahead. But I think the river looks like it might have uh, made a track around it. So well, I think we're going to be okay, but we'll see. We're stuck in a log jam. We tried to come under. Under might not have been the best way. It's tight. There's not really an over though. Oh, you'd have oh, there to is. There. It's a massive over. Okay. Let's move it, man. Let's get it done. Right. Okay, we're going to go over, eh? One, two, three. Okay, and I'll lift Should we put the motor up. back so we've got it immediately? No, I'll be right now. We'll just get it over. Ready? Three, two, one. Where do you think it all came from? Upstream. Upstream. I'd say upstream, yeah. We got hung up on our first lick, but out of practice a bit. Oh, yeah. That puts me into driver's seat and also sooty leader. So pull the boys back up. He's been voted, he counts. A little sooty. He's a little bit smaller than yesterday, but they're angry and he came straight after it. It's good. We'll let him go, eh? We've hit some quicksand. Baxter's about, I don't know, four minutes into uh, trying to find his thong, he left about a knee deep under the sand. We don't have time for this. You want to throw us out, huh? Definitely crops around. Oh. Oh. Sinky. Yeah. Easy. Oop, oop. Still sinking. Oh, man. Uh. I just float on top like a like a butterfly. Like a beautiful Better. butterfly. No? Yeah, no? No? Like no. It sinks like a no. Still no. Still no. Are we going to have lunch now or do you want to have a bit of jerky and a bit of jerky. go a little bit further? A bit of jerky, some water, keep going. So Salvo, I reckon we're going to catch a lot more fish. See, I'm, I'm going to change lures to that um, X-Wrap that we found. Oh yeah. I'm definitely not leading the charge today with the fishing. It's been a bit sad. Charge. I've just caught the biggest toga. Two, two good toga today, haven't I? Stevie's the only one who's actually running two two rods, so he's got to... Well, I, I look, I think it, it's a slight advantage, the two rods, don't get me wrong. But, I also think that the one of the rods I've got is a bit of a Hail Mary for a bigger fish. Yeah. So I'm missing a lot of small fish. Hard body Stevie's been using, has been, there's been a bit of interest in that, so I'll try a hard body. Something real rattly. We're all on hard Dives a bit now. deeper. On this little follow, I keep catching Really little fish. This guy's going to get a little bit deeper, um, and I'm excited about that. Good plan. I, think. I haven't caught I haven't caught any big fish. Whoa! Oh. Don't let him buy you. It's the eye of the tiger. Grab the leader, Togo, looked him in the eye. If we're landing that. Oh. This will be a little lunch stop. Should we have lunch? Yeah, I think so. Beautiful morning on the river so far. Uh, a bit sad with my fishing efforts. Did catch a barra, so that was kind of cool, but... Still fun. 
Don't get me wrong. But, but you would have loved. I would have preferred to do whole, better. Would you rather be a work, tiger. mate? I'm you know, stuck with you guys. Eighty-seven percent of you, thirteen percent. Yep. That's not too bad. So we're just checking the Red Arc uh, Go Block app. Check how much battery we've got left in that encoder. Pretty good actually. We're below what we think we need yeah. to use. Um, but I don't think it'd hurt to put that solar panel out while we have lunch. Might mean we have cold. Might mean we have cold beer on the last night instead of no cold beer. Yeah, we do need cold beer. Yeah. Steve, before we do anything, mate, uh, there seems to be something missing. Cheers, boys. Lunch off champions. Yeah. We're just going to check the <laughs> map, but we think we've travelled about a quarter of the overall total, which would put us well in front of where we need to be. It's sort of hard to say because there's so many winds in the river, but as a total distance, we've travelled uh, 6.2 kilometres, and we've got 20 kilometres left. But that's uh, as the crow flies. Correct. Yep. yep. That's if we were crows. Yep. So if we do this, if we do another four today, as the crow flies, as the crow flies, that means we'll do it another two days. Yeah. All over. It. So we're about to take off after lunch and I'm hoping for a vast improvement on fish caught by me. Happy if the boys catch less, that'd be great. Uh, as long as I catch more. Oh my god! I am the dogger, it's the thrill of the cat rising up to the gunnels of the teeny. Baxter hasn't, he's yet to catch a tiger on the float. Thanks guys. Yeah man, that's a big tiger. Hey, that guy looks like he could race in the Melbourne Cup, eh? Have a go at him. That wow, wow, we wow. The big lure has paid off. Look at that. Now that is a serious toga. Man. He is a good fish. I'm pretty happy with him. Monstrous. He came up and absolutely walloped it. Um, I've missed a couple of decent ones. But uh, I hooked him real good. Boys are pretty quiet about it. No, not much to say other than that's a big fish. That's nice fish, Steve. We're proud of you. Happy for you. But oh, yes. What a beast. He's huge. In the water. He's been the big ones we've been seeing, eh? Oh, Steve, you're my hero. Nice call, Steve. Bit of a catch 22, we're coming up on this deep section here and the sand builds up like this so it's always harder to get to the edge of it. And then there's always the bigger fish in these deeper holes, but then there's always the bigger crocs there as well. So gotta be pretty careful walking around there and make sure we all get in the boat before we get off the edge. Uh, a little, another sooty, good size. Good size for him, but yeah, we're all just standing back from the edge and uh, flicking over the edge where the sand just drops off. There's always fish just waiting there. Oh. Oh. Oh, so right we want to be far enough back from the edge so that if we drop, throw the space, we have enough time. There he goes. Let him go. Baxter, don't catch him. I just hooked something here, a bit of a better fish. Could be a sooty. Fighting pretty hard. Looks like a sooty. Yeah. Sooty. They Not fight even. so hard when they first take it, eh? Another good sooty. A little bit smaller than Mark's one he got. What's going on with Baxter? Oh, Baxter's. He's not having a good day, to be fair. Time for a lure change, I think. 
Just, I've had heaps of follows, but no one's hitting it. One of those days. Thought I'd try for a little plastic. Oh, there you go. Spent all that time mucking around. First lure in the water. Sweet. There he is. See you, bud. Sue. Sue, 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 Sue the poo, Sue. Yeah, got him. Another one from the yard. Another one from the Sue job. Here he is. Cute one. Sue, we might have to eat this guy because we are hungry. <laughs> Very happy. It's a great day. How good is this? That's all sooty. The boys don't call me TK for nothing. Toga King strikes again. Toga back up. The eye. Oh, I'm looking at the eye. I probably should look away. Oh. Oh, you've got so hooked. I got it, Mark. Sorry. Slam dunk. Sorry. Hey, well, first toga oh, today. First toga out. Hey, by the way, I caught us the other so uh, sooty for dinner. That. There he no. is. My first toga today. Camp toga. It's pretty good. Glad to get that one off my back. He's not going to go anywhere near yours. Oh, you even doing I'm gonna... backwards? Doesn't matter. He's not close. Oh, it might be longer the other way. See you, bud. That's good. That's good. That's good. And right as we're about to pull up the boat up on the bank for camp, eh? Yeah, it looks yeah, alright up there. I think this is camp. I think it's it. And we're not going any further. It's real rocky down through there. So that's us. Looks like we're setting up our hammocks on a hill again. <laughs> mm. We've found There's no trees camp. here, Stevie. Yeah. For your thing, the reason I say camp is because not much of a camp, but it's pretty much dark. Flat up there, man. Looks slopey. Let us know down below in the comments if you've done Morton to Billy's Lagoon on the Wenlock River, you floated it. Also, let us know how you found it and what river height you did it at. And buy some merch and have a good day. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Yep. 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 Oh, that's wild.